Brandon. I'm Sierra. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So we're here for the Pretty Little Liars Halloween episode. And I feel like every year the episode gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It keeps getting bigger and scarier. Last year we had a train. The year before we had a big, you know, flashback. So we just keep kind of up in the ante every single year. So yeah. it's exciting. I get this question a lot if it's scary to film this show. It, it's not because it's kind of like, you know, this is your family. If you're doing stuff with your family, you know, everything that's going on is not as scary as what they make it look like on TV, you know. Um, I do have to say it can get scary when we're on the back lot at Warner Brothers in the middle of the night shooting night scenes and there's nobody else around and we're kind of walking back to our trailers at the end of the night like five in the morning or something and it's like a wasteland and then going back to the Halloween episode yeah. is there one scene that you're most excited for fans to see that either was just really fun to shoot or just like just really creepy there's a scene that we see you know we see Caleb getting on a bus I think it's gonna be you know on the trends on Twitter I think that's gonna be number one that's my personal opinion, so I'm excited for people to see that scene. I believe that, though, because Pretty Little Liars is so big on Twitter. We'd like for it to be a surprise, not only for the viewers, but, you know, so we can get that, that kind of reaction on Twitter. It's not only exciting for us, but I think for all the fans as well. One of the big things that you guys have been pushing the, for this episode is we're finally going to find out what's going on with Allison. If she's here, she's at, is there any insight you can give us? With well, this? she's standing right next to me, but... Uh, <laughs> so I say that she's alive. Uh, other than that, we've been getting hints throughout the entire season. Um, and actually, since the beginning of the show, you know, if you, um, if you when you talk to Marlene King, our producer and um, our head writer, she likes to say that nothing in Rosewood is a coincidence. Everything happens for a reason. And there's clues that have been dropped since the very beginning, since the pilot episode, that kind of tell us the end game um, of the entire series. So there's been hints. That's all I can say. But we are going to find out even more information about Alice and her. I, I almost I just caught myself about what about what's happening with Allison uh, you know in this in this episode so a lot more gets revealed well thank you so much have a good night it's nice to meet you